Anyone here surprised? Anyone? Here comes trouble. Make it double. Uh, can't we run around to them for a change? Okay. Physical, heck yeah. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? I do. She My just turn. killed him. She just one shot that guy. Like it was nobody's business. <laughs> Let's protect her. Take this. Shape of Taishu. Rise, beat it. Oh no. No skill points. She's so good. She is so good. You can't run. Welcome, customers. Yeah. Want to see what I can do? Yeah. A thousand wonders to raise. Fight is fun. Let me through. Dead. Get it now? That's the power of the Cloud Knights. I love her. Oh, it's kind of far away. There must be a treasure here. There's nothing else there, right? I was kind of in a hurry. No, there isn't. Save point. No, it's just a health regen. This music. Holy cow. This music is so good. This music has no right of being this good. Sorry, no right to be this good. I'm sorry, the Cloud Knights have orders from the map. English is hard. What was that? A new yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. She jumps and no more playing nice. Swirls and kills. Okay, we're gonna listen to the name of the of the thing. No sound, just voice. I want to hear the name of of that guy. Uh. All right, here we Take go. Take this! Shape of Taishu! Here we go. Rise, Phoenix! No, it is Phoenix. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> Wanna see what I can do? I don't know what she says. Don't know, I don't know if it's Phoenix. It, it sounded like Phoenix, right? But sometimes it doesn't. So I am confused. You're not going anywhere. Okay, she killed. Did you see that? She just killed everyone by herself. Get it now? That's the power of the Cloud Knights. 
Yeah, I get it now. Oh my god. I can't imagine life without her anymore. Can you imagine? Being without this power? How did I survive that long? Without her in my life? I don't know. Oh. Uh, have I been there? That's where I was, right? Yeah, that was locked. And then we went this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to go that way now. Oh, I can't. Perfect. This girl is just too powerful. She just killed three people by herself on the first turn. Oh, come on. Just get out of the way. What are you doing? Come on, come on. Hey. That's a new one. The break effect. Interesting. Maybe good for Asta. Ah, oh, look at her running animation. It's just so smooth and so nice. And the flow on her stuff, hair and clothes. It just looks so good. So good. She's perfect. Uh, hello? What are you doing here? Wow, a rare honor. Uh, me? <laughs> Have we met? I don't think it's you. No, I'm at Chinchua. I didn't expect to see her here during work hours. That's unfair. I'm working hard. <laughs> Look, these are the guests the Master Divider wants to meet. A rare honor. Uh, are you talking about us this time? Uh, yes. The Master Diviner rarely allows outsiders. She likes her peace and quiet. If you want to see the Master Diviner, head straight to the Matrix of Prescience. They're short of hands. The Master Diviner is run off her feet, and the Cloud Knights stationed there are driving away evil spirits. I don't evil know when they'll be done. This is the Matrix of Prescience, a large-scale Jade Abacus calculation terminal. It's the pride and joy of the Divination Commission. <clears throat> We've heard the term Jade Abacus a few times now. Would you mind explaining what it is, Miss Chingchu? A Jade Abacus is just... A Jade Abacus. Ah. <sighs> That's a good question, Mr. Yang. <laughs> it might take me a minute to give you an answer. Let me think. Okay, I'll love her. The book, Glimpses into the Beyond, describes it as... Living jade engraved with symbols for divination into the unknown. Just like engraving a seal, the craftsmen of the Sianjo Artisanship Commission carve faint symbols into pieces of jade and then insert them into machines to get them to operate according to a certain intention. 
Some jade abacuses are small enough to fit inside bracelets and jewelry. Hmm. We put the bigger ones into instruments of calculation, so we can simulate the future and learn from the past. Take the matrix of prescience here as an example. As long as sufficient information is provided, it can answer questions on anything, from the evolution of natural phenomena to the metabolism of living things. So an AI. They say the theory behind the symbols was handed down by Noose, the Wisdom Walker. The principles are so profound that in the Divination Commission, only the Master Diviner truly understands them. She has a little, a little animal as a, a hairpin. That's adorable. Uh, so they're just microchips. It sounds like similar technology. Maybe we'll get a better understanding if we see the manufacturing process with our own eyes. I'm afraid that's impossible. The Artisanship Commission's Hall of Jadeology keeps a close watch over the jade carving process. But if you're interested, there's a shop selling jade abacus jewelry in Starskiff Haven. I can show you around when I'm free. Sure. <laughs> Did you hear that? She said she's taking Mr. Yang jewelry shopping. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Hey, any excuse to hang around her. She's awesome. Anyway, don't dwell on names. As long as the machine works, what does it matter whether it's a jade abacus or a computer? Fair point. Just like today. Would it have mattered if Bai Chue had brought you here instead of Ching Chue? It makes no difference at all. It does. It does, because I, I think I prefer you. I have no idea who that is. But I love you enough that I'm glad it was you. We're almost at the Matrix of Prescience Core. The Master Diviner should be waiting. Okay. Save point. Uh, hello. <laughs> Meta algorithm reading complete. Inputting Jade Abacus for simulation. Divination inference complete. Hexagrammatic position established. Fluctuation. The algorithm is correct, so what's interfering with the instruments? Good question. <laughs> Meta divination. Hey, there she is. Where's Kafka? Diviner Fu, how are things progressing? We are fluctuating between the heaven and thunder trigrams. A step forward bridge is no distance hence. And for those who don't speak, Fu Shen? <clears throat> it's an utter disaster. How's that for a divination commission fortune? <laughs> the matrix of prescience has stopped operating, and the symbols have dimmed. There are Stellaron spirits wreaking havoc inside the commission, and the Cloud Knights are struggling to protect civilians. I want to restore the Matrix of Prescience, but I have no forces available. Stellaron spirits. Is that part of the corruption, or is that something else? And if so... Well, is the corruption also spiritual? I mean, that depends what they mean by spirits in this in this world. It could mean anything, really. And on top of all of that, General, we still have to deal with the Stellaron Hunter you handed to us. If that's not an utter disaster, then I don't know what is. <laughs> but your Fu Shen, the seer, the boundless omniscient, bringing luck and avoiding misfortune is your strong suit, isn't it? You don't need to flatter me, General. It's natural for fortune to fluctuate. There's no escaping it. The Divination Commission simply does its best to uncover the good and the bad and then make the right decisions. We have no magical means to turn the tide. And that is precisely why we need you in charge. When it comes to handling clairvoyant Stellaron hunters, who better than Fu Shen the Seer? As for reinforcements, you didn't think I'd be unprepared, did you? Look, help has just arrived. Master Diviner, I brought you the guests. Though, it wasn't your order I received. Uh, so general. Even guests are on the payroll these days? Well, since they're here already, 
I may as well make use of them. Makes sense. Entering the Matrix of Prescience without my permission is a breach of protocol. <sighs> Would be an ungracious thing to say in the present circumstances. I admit I'm pleasantly surprised to see you here. Jingchue is often unreliable, but she comes through for us when the need arises. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's mean. But I I'm happy to hear that. She's there when it counts. <laughs>